Yes, I seen ghosts. I grew up in a haunted house, old steel town, toys would turn on in the middle of the night, channels would flicker, I woke up in the basement once, and, it's, and it was the case where the whole family was very much in the know that there was a ghost in our house. Did you have siblings? I did. Or mean-spirited parents, perhaps. <laughs> Everything that has been unexplained is because science hasn't figured it out yet. Right, so but I, it will. I can see in the future that we scientifically break down what ghosts are. I'll believe in a ghost when I see it right in front of me. I don't need to see one. <laughs> I mean, they're just there. I think you don't have to, I don't think they're there to be dangerous. I think ghosts are just there. They're just chilling out. Okay, official classified uh, packaging. Okay, right, I'm already spooked. Here we go. When my brother was little, my mom found him running around the living room laughing. When she asked him what he was doing, he said, that nice old lady is chasing me. A week or so later, she was going through old photos when my brother pulled out a photo of my great grandmother who had passed away many years before he was born. He smiled really big and said, that's her, mommy. That's the lady who is chasing me. <laughs> I think this kid just has like an overactive imagination. <laughs> I'm down with it. I had an invisible friend named Winky when I was a kid, <laughs> all right? Winky's your old uncle who I passed away 16 <laughs> years ago. Going through a family photo album, chances are that's probably the second or third old lady he's ever seen, so like... I think you're giving kids too much credit. I feel like they see a face and they forget it. Do you chase your great-grandmother around? Um, no, she chases me around. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. My boyfriend and I went camping together one weekend. This was back before digital cameras were a thing, so we brought a few disposable ones. When we went to sleep that night in our sleeping bags, we zipped up the tent completely and locked in the zipper. We both swear to this. After the photos were developed, we picked up the pictures and we saw there was a series of pictures taken of both of us sleeping from inside the tent. That's crazy. We're developing the mythos here. Ghosts can pick up physical objects and activate a shutter. I don't think all ghosts are capable of that, but if a ghost is strong enough. That could just be like some weirdo in the woods. Yeah, I don't think this is a ghost story. I think this is some creepy sh where you could have been murdered. <laughs> That's just like a gross guy that came into the tent. To take these pictures, they had to be able to go through that tent. Bigfoot? The ghost of Bigfoot? Okay, the ghost of Bigfoot. I was like, I'm ready to be, believe Bigfoot over the ghost of Bigfoot. One night, I was reading in my room. I heard footsteps right outside my bedroom door. There was no pause, there was no knock. The footsteps continued right through my bedroom door and into my bedroom. The floorboards were creaking next to my bed, but no one was there. Hmm. Eh. That happened to me once. I was on a bed and the corner of the bed dipped like someone was sitting on it and I was like, oh, there's nobody there. I will say, so I live, like, grew up in a really old house mm -hmm. and it creaked all the time. That house was haunted, but I don't think creaks necessarily correlate to haunting. I think we need more context. Like, was this an old house? Was it a new house? Using a Ouija board in my room with some friends, we actually found a spirit to talk to and learned that he was an Alaskan Eskimo. He said he died in 1916, and when I asked how, he spelled out Ajax. After saying our goodbyes, I did a Google search and discovered that the Ajax was an Alaskan battleship that went into battle in the year 1916. Have you done an, a Ouija board? No, I refuse. You ref Wait, why do you repeat? You okay. are like the ghost person. <laughs> I was so excited to do Ouija are boards. Are ready for another rule? <laughs> oh my god. You use a Ouija board, it opens up things that you oh weren't opened before. I don't mess with Ouija boards. Like, I, really I don't, fun. I don't let one. it into my, no! In camp, we used to be like, am I gonna kiss this boy? And everyone would just like push it to yes, but then we were still alone. I believe it. I do like that it wasn't like some Victorian era spirit, because that's like everything is, mm. oh, it was a girl that died in like 1920 something and she like died drowning in her bathtub or something like that. One day I woke up from a short nap to my dog barking. 
I noticed my stepmother's rocking chair intensely rocking back and forth, so much so that the bag sitting on the chair fell off. My stepmom has always told me that a rocking chair rocking by itself means someone is going to die. My grandmother passed away the next morning. I think the mom killed the grandma. <laughs> I believe it. I think some things happen that way. You have the rocking of a chair, or you have like maybe a weird dream, and then a week later something happens. That, 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 okay. I have never you, heard that. Yeah, because you know stuff that I don't know, like the stuff about the kids yeah. that can talk to ghosts. I've never heard that. And I, I have dogs. Like, they make my, the recliner that they jump on rock all the time. And mm. if he was asleep, the dog could have rocked it, and now the dog was barking at it. I don't mess when animals are freaking out. If an animal's freaking out, I run. I don't animals know where I'm running. Animals can sense things. That's true. My grandmother gave me a necklace before she passed away. A year after she gave it to me, I lost it. After desperately searching for it, I calmly said, I'm sorry I lost the necklace, Ninny. Can you help me find it? Almost immediately, the necklace fell out of my open jewelry stand. So... She's terrible at looking for things. It was in her jewelry stand the whole time. <laughs> How just, hard did she look? It was just, <laughs> that's what we're focusing on here. Why did she just look in the jewelry stand in the first place? It yeah. seems like that's the first place you'd look for a lost necklace. It fell out of her jewelry stand. How does it fall out of the jewelry stand? It's all connected for a great ghost story, right? It's everything. It's got all the. the I was gonna say this is like your shining moment. I feel like this has all of the like trappings of like a very like a solid ghost story. I had a neighbor who was a lovely old man. He would always work in his garden and I'd walk past his house daily, so we spoke often. One day I saw him and said hello, but got no response. Not wanting to bother him, I carried on. Later I learned that the man had gone hiking a week ago, had a heart attack, and died. That just recovered his body, he had been dead for a week, but I had seen him just the day earlier. Mm. Whoa. I'll let you have the first I mean, word ghosts, on this one. Ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it. Do you? You don't sound convinced. I think it's I think it's possible. Old boy loves his garden. I think spirits go back home to where they are, to where it's like comfortable to them. Really gotta get rid of those weeds out. Like, yeah. My petunias just aren't gonna look that great without this. Yeah, because who's gonna do it? That's true. Yeah, maybe somebody's tending to his garden, like trying to keep the property value up while he's dead. I don't know. Maybe I his mean, brother. People don't normally go to like property value immediately when a family member dies. <laughs> he's just like maybe he was a very devoted like plant plant dad, and he would be heartbroken if he knew that his plants were gonna die after. So he came he back as a ghost on. and he took care of them. I love <sighs> it. I still believe in ghosts. I think there are, some of these stories are questionable. I n still don't believe in ghosts, but I do think that really? some of these are some really good stories. But a lot of these are more like reveals or realizations of after the fact of like, and very specific realizations and reveals. So maybe the people that think that these things happen are actually like remembering things in a different order or more likely they smoke a lot of weed. So. Ghosts are just kind of like impolite and don't really respect your space most of the time. Yeah. It sounds like. Well, because supposedly if it's a ghost in like that's attached to a space, they don't respect your space because it's technically their space. And you're not respecting their space, right? Oh. Okay. Is there a ghost with us today? No. Nope. Oh, okay. BuzzFeed isn't haunted. I don't know. <laughs>